Welcome back to Counter-80s.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series starting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is the abductive fallacy. Now, along with induction and deduction, abduction is a form of argument. Specifically, abduction is the form of argument to best explanation. In other words, one should accept explanation X because X is the best available explanation for a particular phenomenon. If you want more information about abduction and kind of a longer video, check out my video on abduction that both offers a wider explanation as well as a broader critique of it as an arguing style. But setting that aside, this form of argument that we're talking about right now is when someone takes an abductive argument and assumes it to be deductively true. So the form of argument of abduction becomes fallacious when it's treated like a deductive argument. So deductive arguments are arguments where the truth of the premises guarantees the truth of the conclusion. So when it's assumed that because something is the best available explanation of a particular phenomenon, that it must be the correct explanation. This is clearly problematic, as often we have limited information, and unless all possible explanations are available, we don't even know if the correct one is among our choices. And even if we were to assume that being a good explanation guaranteed truth, we don't know that the best explanation is within the subset of explanations we have available to us. We may not have discovered the actual best explanation. And there's the other problem that being a good explanation doesn't mean that something is true. You can have unlikely events occur where the most common best explanation is actually false. So assuming that simply some, because something is a good or the best available explanation for a phenomenon means that it must be the explanation for that phenomenon is a fallacious line of argument. So. If I ask you why you think the door was left open, you might look at the options of you forgot to close it, I forgot to close it, or the wind blew it open. You might conclude that given my forgetfulness, the best explanation of the options available is that I left it open. And while we, with abduction, can conclude, yes, that is the best explanation, our legitimate line of reasoning stops there. We can't conclude, therefore, I did leave it open. Because being the best possible explanation does not mean it is impossible that the wind blew the door open. Simply because nine times out of ten I'm the one that leaves the door open doesn't mean that that one time out of ten the wind didn't blow the door open. Simply because I'm a good explanation for it doesn't mean that it is the correct explanation for it. And there may in fact be a better explanation that we haven't considered, which we would get with more evidence, such as when we find a burglar in our house, we may realize that there were an was another option that we didn't consider. So simply because something is the best explanation, it doesn't imply that it is true, nor does it imply that it is the best explanation of all the possible options, just even the best explanation of the options that we happen to think of at the time. For a more forceful example, you might remember that we used to think that the stars were fixed lights on crystal spheres, and being fixed lights on crystal spheres was the best explanation for what we see in the cosmos. If abduction has the power to be deductively true, this means that, in fact, when we thought that, when that was the best explanation of the options we had available, it was true. There were crystalline spheres in the sky. And as soon as a better explanation came along, those crystalline spheres snapped out of existence and the stars as we believe them to exist popped into existence suddenly. That is what you're committed to if you think that abduction is as strong as deduction, which to me is an absolutely ridiculous conclusion to accept. Therefore, abduction cannot be a deductive argument. It cannot prove that something is true. And claiming that it does is fallacious. This fallacy is commonly committed by theists who claim that God being the best explanation for morality, diversity of species, cosmological constants, etc., proves his existence. While such things might give us a reason in favor of belief, check out my series on theological arguments for more on this as well as some strong objections to those arguments and that idea, but claiming that they prove the existence of God commits the abductive fallacy, mistaking 
abduction, something that can help us find what the best explanation for a phenomenon is, with deduction, something that can tell us what is actually true about the world. The webcomic Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial, titled If Arithmetic Were Debated Like Religion, provides a great example of this fallacy and why it's so ridiculous to think that abduction is connected to truth. Man 1. Hey, what's 1,892,491,287 times 7,798,721,415 divided by 82 billion four hundred and ninety three million seven hundred and twenty six thousand six hundred and thirty one Oof. man two i don't know man one i think it's four man two pretty sure it's not four man one at least my theory provides an answer simply because your answer is the best answer of the ones we've thought of so far doesn't mean it's the right one Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.